Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter all have different standards in terms of the size and quality video that you can upload. So how do you make sure that the video that you just spent a ton of time on gets rendered correctly? Because when you upload your video, those platforms are gonna compress it like your cheese sandwich. Let's just say this is your video. It's a nice cheese sandwich, right? Uh, this is what they do to it. They just smash that thing down, right? Just get it down there. It's kind of like being a kid again, you smash that sandwich, get as thin as you want. That's pretty much what those platforms do. They turn it into that. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Hey guys, I'm Patrick Fuller, and today we're talking about the best export settings for the different social platforms, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter specifically. I know that you spend a ton of time on your video. Not only do you probably prep your video, but you filmed it, you did all the editing, and now you want to share it with the world, specifically on the different social platforms. But what you don't want is you don't want it to be all fuzzy and grainy and, and have the audio sound all garbled. So I thought what I would do is I'd actually show you what settings I use, and I'll use a real world example from the last video, the multicam video that I just released. Let's do this. So for today's purpose, we're gonna assume that you already have your commercial done and you're ready to rock and roll. So I'm actually gonna go Command M or you can go up to File Export and that pulls up our export settings. And the first thing I want you to see is the format. We definitely want an H.264. And then instead of our presets, which is the YouTube preset that I have right now, I actually wanna show you the built-in preset because we're gonna modify it. So we're gonna to go to Facebook. We're going to go to 1080p full HD. And a couple of things, let's blow this up a little bit. I want to show you here. We don't necessarily care about the summary and the output. All I'm gonna say is just name your video something appropriate, something that makes sense to you, and put it somewhere where you're going to find it. Me, I always drop it on the desktop because I don't like a lot of things on my desktop. And once it's there, I know how to move it. I want you to pay close attention to this estimated file size, this 58 megs. For this particular one, it doesn't matter how big or how long, I just want you to use it as a baseline. Now, I've already got a preset. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. I'm gonna scroll up here, Facebook 1080p HD VBR 15, which stands for Variable Bitrate 15, and that's gonna be our primary change here. So I wanna keep my basic video settings the same, my width and my height. Scroll down here, I like my performance as hardware encoding as long as your uh, machine can support that, laptop or desktop. I like my profile to be high, and I like my level at 4.2. Scrolling down here, we're gonna get to the bitrate settings. Now, a couple things, and I mentioned this on the previous YouTube export video, but I'm gonna just reiterate this here. You have three options. You have a constant bitrate or a CBR. You have a variable bit rate one pass or a variable bit rate two pass. And the primary difference here is when you're doing a variable bit rate two pass, it's going to take a second pass of that encoding and just see if it can change anything for quality purposes. It's going to take a lot longer. And because we're posting on social, I really don't see the need for that. So I'm gonna stick with variable bitrate one pass. And for Facebook, I actually like a 15 setting. You can go up or down one or two. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. But at 15, notice that our estimated file size is 73 megs. Again, not terrible, but the more I jump up to my bitrate here, like putting it in a 20, it jumps up to 97 and that's only five. So for us, we're gonna stick that at 15. We don't really care about using maximum render quality. I know there's some folks out there that really like that. I'm not a big fan of that for this. And I'm definitely not a big fan at up here in the basic video settings at rendering at maximum depth. It's just not something that I need to do just because most of the videos that I produce, you're not gonna really see a big, big enough difference and there's really no need for it. Once we have all those things set, let's go ahead over here into audio and just double check that we're using the ACC audio codec. We want our sample rate at 4100 hertz. We definitely want a stereo as a channel. It should be all defaults, so you shouldn't have to worry about these things. We're not gonna worry about multiplexer other than the fact that we want it to be MP4. If you've got captions, I use subtitles, but if you wanna do captions, here's actually where you would set those, whether you wanna burn them in or produce them as a sidecar file. And I'm not really gonna worry about effects. One thing that you could do, which actually could be kind of cool, is if you wanted to lay over a watermark and you didn't want to do it in the timeline, you could actually do that with this image overlay and just lay over a watermark with a very, very low opacity. Now that we have all these settings set, we're definitely not going to export right away. 
We are just gonna hold on one more step and then we're gonna be good to go. We're gonna come up here to our preset and we are going to click this little guy that says save preset. And then we are going to just call it whatever we want. I'm gonna call it this guy and I'll just put a little dash V2 on it. I don't need save effects settings or save publish settings because again, we're really not using those for now. But if you were to have that image overlay, let's say, then you would definitely wanna have these save effects settings checked. Click OK, and now that you got the preset, you don't have to worry about these settings again, unless you're gonna change something significant like the aspect ratio or something. And here's a bonus, you can actually do the exact same thing for LinkedIn. So you actually don't even need a preset for LinkedIn, you could just use the Facebook one, which leads us to Twitter. So let's go ahead and quickly take a look at our Twitter here at 720. Again, just a quick baseline, estimated file size is 10 megs. I've already got a preset for you. We're gonna come up here, go to Twitter, and then I've got my aspect ratio. Now here I'm changing my aspect ratio because I want this as a 720 file, not a 1080p file. So I'm not going to match source in this case. I still want a progressive. I still want a square pixel. I still want hardware encoding. And then for profile, I'm gonna switch this to main and I'm gonna change my level to 3.2 because Twitter doesn't really support A, the file size, B, the dimensions, and C, kind of that depth. So we wanna have something nice and nice and thin, kind of like our thin cheese sandwich, but not quite this thin. Bitrate encoding, I'm still gonna do VBR1 pass, but now I'm actually gonna switch this from a 15 that we used on Facebook to an eight. So that's the biggest primary difference is the size, the 720, and the bit rate from 15 to eight on the Twitter side. I'm not gonna change anything with audio, multiplexer captions, publish, or effects. And once again, I'm gonna come up here and click save preset and I'll be able to name this whatever I want and bam. So not only do I have a Facebook, I have a LinkedIn and now I have a Twitter export preset. So now pretty much you're an expert. You're an expert at exporting. And the only thing left to do is figure out how to do Instagrams, whether it be posts as videos or Instagram stories, which is good because guess what? That's gonna be our next video, just you and I. So if you got something out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm gonna see you in that next one. Instagram, awesome, export, you get the idea. Little cheese sandwich, no more. Nice big sandwich you took a bite out of. Yes, please. Not bad. But what you don't want is you don't want to send your video clip up there and have it all be funny and crazy. Funny and crazy?